Hey everyone, it's Honda Nguyen. How's everyone all doing today? Alright guys, so today we're going to be doing an updated video here on this Sandis I Expand Lux. Okay, so we've done a video on this before, but we haven't done one for a while. And we do have some viewers out there still confused on how to use it. But now actually they have updated their app, so it's actually going to be a little bit easier to use. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to use it in this video. Before we get started, guys, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing, okay? It doesn't cost you any money to subscribe, but it helps out the channel greatly, and I really appreciate you all. All right, guys, so if you guys have followed my channel, I did a how to use the Sandis I Expand Lux, um, and... I have a couple of viewers commenting that they're still confused on how to use it because the last video, they didn't update their app yet. So the last video was basically when you plug this unit in, the app didn't recognize it. Okay, so we have to use the Apple files for us to be able to use this unit right here. Okay, so today we're going to we're going to use the app and it's actually going to it's going to know when when we plug into the to the iPhone, okay? So, it's going to recognize it and it's going to pop up and it's going to be very easy to use just like the uh video that we did before on the Sandis iExpand Go. All right? So, this is the iExpand Lux. It it has the lightning and it also has a USB side, okay? So, if you guys have an iPhone 15 or 16, you're going to need to use this side right here. But if you guys have an iPhone 14 and older, it's going to be the lightning connector. OK, so if you guys are interested in buying one of these, I will leave the link in the description box so you guys can pick it up. OK, so if you guys have an iPhone 15 and 16, you guys already know they change the charging port to the, you know, the USB-C now, as you guys can see right there. OK, but uh, anyway, the last video, like I said, when we plug this in. Uh, this NN into the iPhone 15, it did not recognize this app right here. The iXband app did not recognize uh, this unit. But now it looks like Sandis has updated this app where now we can plug this unit in and it's going to recognize it. All right. So with that uh, being said, let's go ahead and just plug it in so you guys know what I'm talking about. So make sure... You guys install that app right there. It's called iExpand Drive. Okay, so it looks like that. But before, you know, the last video, when we plugged this in, it didn't recognize it because, you know, iPhone 15 just came out with this um, different charging port here. So it didn't recognize it. So we had to use the Apple files. But now I just uh, found out that they updated the app. So it's just going to be a plug and play now, which is really easy now. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so once you already install the app, all you got to do now is just plug it in. And uh, normally I'll tell you to go out through the steps and all that, but I already done all that. Uh, if you guys want to see that, just go to the last video, but I already done all that. It's pretty straightforward. All you got to just press next, next, next and all that. Uh, but uh, that's it. And then now let's go ahead and plug it in and it should recognize the, uh, there you go. It, it recognizes the uh, iXpand drive right away. Okay. So what, um, what does this unit do? So if you guys watched my previous video, you know what it do it does, but uh, I'll just explain to you real quick again here that the uh, iExpand Lux unit basically saves your photos and videos, okay, onto this, uh, this small unit right here. So that way you free up space on your phone, so that way you have more space, so you can do more uh, videos and more pictures or whatnot. So I bought a couple of these because I know it works well. So uh, yeah, so let me show you guys how to use it. So once... You guys are in uh, the app already. It now, like I said, it now recognize the app just like when you guys use the uh, the Go um, unit. Uh, the Lux unit did not, you know, the last video, the Lux unit did not recognize this app, but now it's it recognizes it. So it's, the main screen is going to be right here. So what you guys want to do, if you guys want to save your videos and pictures off your iPhone, you're going to go ahead and select copy files. Okay, right here. It has copy files, has view files. 
Okay, we're just going to be focusing on copy files. And then once you press on copy files, it's going to say copy uh, photos from iPhones or copy files from iExpand Drive. We're going to go ahead and do copy photos from iPhone. Okay, so we're going to copy photos and videos from the iPhone to this drive. So that way, you know, you have more space. All right, so go ahead and tap on copy photos from iPhone. And then once you do that, your unit or your photos and videos should pop up. If you don't see your videos here, you just go to album down here and then you just select videos. Okay. But for this purpose, we're just going to go ahead and just go ahead and uh, select the photo since we're already on the screen. So we'll select photos. We'll select one of these. We'll select one of that, one of that. And then down here, you press copy to I expand drive. So I do have some people asking can they copy all which you can you see where it says up here select all you can do that but i wouldn't recommend it because it's going to take a long time and your unit might freeze okay so i would suggest uh, or recommend you guys just to select a few maybe five or ten at a time and then save it okay so that way you know that you know it went through and it's saved versus you're trying to copy everything and what if it freezes right and then you're gonna have to start all over wasting your time Okay, so I selected three items. Now all I gotta do is copy to I expand drive. So it's gonna copy to this unit here, okay? The small unit. All right, let's go ahead and press it. And then once you press it, it's gonna come to the screen right here where you can, you know, put into one of these files here or you can create a new folder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new folder so that way we can distinguish it. So this time I'm going to put uh, practice, okay? So that way uh, you guys know it's a different folder. Okay, so practice and then press OK to save the folder. And then once you save the folder, you're inside practice right now. Okay, so it's going to say practice up here. Now we're going to go ahead and put copy here. So we're going to copy into the practice file. Okay, so now it's moving, as you guys can see, and it's done already. And it says, I expand drive, just copy three items, delete items from your phone to free up space. So you can delete it, so that way you can free up your space, or do not delete. Uh, for this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and delete it, okay, because we don't really need those um, those pictures. And then it's going to delete these. This one is going to ask you to confirm that you're going to delete these three items. Go ahead and press delete. And then it says, great, you save up some space. So I deleted three uh, three pictures. It's going to save up 22.1 megabyte of space on your iPhone. But then again, you got to go to your iPhone um, deleted um, photos and videos to to, to uh, basically uh, permanently delete it, okay? But right now, we're just going to go ahead and press delete and press great. And it should be good to go, okay? So... How do you know if it's been copied to the uh, iExpand drive down here? What we're going to do now is we're going to go back out. Okay, right here on top, press back out. And then we're going to go ahead and press view files right here. This is how we're going to know that it got copied into this unit right here. So let's go ahead and tap on view files. And then as you can see, you see that folder right there where it says practice right here? That's the folder that we just created, so it should be in there. So let's go ahead and tap in there. And then there it is. Sometimes it duplicates, okay, but it's okay. At least you know that three file right here has been copied. And it looks like they, uh, they also did some videos here too, but just ignore those. If you guys don't want those in, just delete them after, okay? But the three photos that is here are the three that we selected right here okay so they're there and let's say if you do want to delete them all you got to do is just press select right here on the bottom okay and then we're just gonna go uh, let's delete these three or just delete all the other one I guess they duplicated them but it's okay you can always delete it and then on the bottom right here all you got to do is press delete and it says, are you sure you want to delete six items? We're going to go ahead and press delete. All right, so it's been deleted. I'm not sure why they have all these duplicated, um, you know, videos that we didn't put in. But it's okay if you don't want it. 
just go ahead and just delete it select again and just delete all of it okay so that's how you delete it and that's how we view what we copy over um but yeah that's it guys that's how you use the brand new iExpand app or maybe an updated version like i said and that's how you copy videos or transfer videos and pictures from your iphone to the i you know this unit right here the i expand drive lux okay so once again you know if you guys are having iphone 15 and 16 they're gonna need to use this i expand lux because it uses the um the USB C N and also I have a lot of viewers asking how do you do how do you remove this device right here? Normally I just pull it out right, but now I try to play it safe. So what I do now is I would just close the app first, and then I'll pull it out just to be safe. Okay, so that's what I would say. Start doing that from now on instead of just pulling it out. It might damage the unit, right? So we would close it by doing this. And then all we got to do now is just pull the unit out. And then we are good to go. All right. So that's it, guys. That is how, you know, to use the Sandis iExpand Lux unit on this updated video. And hopefully, you know, it's going to be easier. Well, it is easier than before. Like I mentioned that before... The app wasn't updated, so when you plug it in, it doesn't recognize this unit here. So we have to use Apple Files, and it's a little bit complicated on that step. Okay, but uh, other than that, it's easier now, much easier. It's very easy, just like when we use the iXBand Go, okay? But if you guys have an iPhone well, 15 and 16, you guys can grab one of these right here. It has both. So that way, if you have an iPhone 14 or older, you can use both of them. So you guys don't have to buy two units. Saves you some money there. All right, guys, that's it. Hopefully, this updated video on how to use the SanDisk iExpand Lux helps you guys out. Make sure you guys, uh, you know, have any questions, leave them down below. And if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing, okay? It doesn't cost you any money, but it helps out the channel greatly. And I really appreciate you all. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.